Hello my friends! Tonight I am making the Sicilian chicken with tomato, basil, and garlic. It's a skillet sauce from McCormick. Cost for chicken and vegetables. So I have some chicken thighs which I deboned myself. Bones for the stock, skins for the chicharron, and meat for tonight's dinner. So one package of McCormick skillet sauce, two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to use coconut oil instead. That's my preference. Um, boneless thighs or skin, skinless chicken breast, two cups of sliced mushrooms, and bell pepper and onion cut into strips. So I'm going to start sauteing the meat while I'm trimming up the vegetables. For those of you who don't know, coconut oil is in a solid state until it reaches 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's cooler than that in the house, so that's why it is solid. And as it warms up, it turns liquid. By far the best searing properties I have found with coconut oil. So I have it on medium high, about seven on my electric stove. I'm gonna sear up the uh, chicken for about seven to eight minutes until they're just about you know, go, cook through, seared on both sides, you know, golden on both sides. I'm gonna take them out and then sear up the vegetables, saute up the vegetables. Chicken is done, time to take it out, and then I will saute the vegetables in the same pan. I'm going to deglaze it quickly with a little bit of water, you'll see that in a sec. I've added a little water to the pan because it's, an, it's a stainless pan, so it's, an, it's not a non-stick. So all those bits and pieces will come up, and then there'll be a nice little sauce. I'm going to add that to the chicken because that's going to go right back into the final product, but I want to clear the pan bottom so I can saute the vegetables. Cleaned out the juices added to this bowl and now I'm ready for the veggies. And there are the veggies. Two cups of mushrooms, um, half of a large red onion, it's called for a small one, and one green bell pepper. I did add a little bit more coconut oil because I, the pan was completely dry and inside and want them to sear and stick. So I'm gonna saute this in about five minutes. Uh, until they're to the doneness we like, and then I will combine the chicken, the sauce, right there, and the vegetables together, and then they just need to amalgamate. I may add a little bit of corn in there. I'm going to taste it first, see how much sweetness there is. So I have a little bit of fresh corn, or corn that I put up uh, from the summer that I'd like to use. The veggies are right where I want them, so I am ready to add the chicken and the sauce. So the chicken goes back in, all the juices. Let me open up the sauce and I'll add that and then mix it all together. The last one is going to be corn. And I already have water on for some egg noodles. There's everything combined. Um, the little bit of corn is going to be add a little, it's going to add a little bit of sweetness. And you really only need to leave, leave or saute this on the stovetop for just about two more minutes once you combine everything. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to wait for my noodles to come up and I'll show you what it looks like all served up. There it is, all done over buttered um, egg noodles and a little bit of parmesan on top. So that's an easy 15 minute meal or so, 20 minutes longer when you do a video, but nonetheless, easy dollar store or dollar tree McCormick sauces.